Kan Shalom, op praise to Yahweh Bashim Yashai Bashim Kakadash, de beonders to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the hopeful electors pushing his truth in city. So, the first of the day that I want to go into is the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 13. It reads, More for not my brethren, if the world hates you. Which means, don't look up strange. When, when people will express their hate or their disagreement with how you move and how you think about what is taking place upon this earth. You have to understand that it is the right thing for them to be against your spirit. You know, the scripture explains about it that we are in the world but we are not of this world. Yes, we live, we labor, we abide, you exercise, you go to the supermarket, you're trying to be at peace with all men as possible. But the thing that you're going to find out when you serve Yahweh Bashim Yashai is that they don't serve the Most High. And for not serving the Most High, they serve something else. Who is it that they serve? We know who they serve. They serve their belly, they serve lawlessness, they serve Satan. Even if you will tell people that they actually, by their speech, by their conduct, are serving Satan, they might get offended. Some of them might even say like, I don't even believe in Satan, so I'm not serving Satan. The disbelief in Satan is already being submitted onto a satanic vibration. Because it is the will of Satan also to, to cause you to depart from believing in the Most High. Or even believing in the existence of high powers. That's a doctrine. It's a satanic doctrine. So we understand what can happen or what will happen, better to say, when we serve Yahweh Bashim Yashai. And all the brothers in this truth, if they serve the Most High, they know what is, what's going on. But let, me just, let me just read this one, man. It says, if you truly follow the Messiah, which is the Messiah, the Anointed One, the Redeemer, the, the Beloved Son of the Most High, the world, which is talking about this empire, everything that is living and giving him or herself over onto the mindset, the speech, um, the acceptance, the PC political correctness that the system is teaching them. They're conforming. So, everything that is conformed onto this world, onto this way of being, is going to sense that your energy, your speech, your conduct is not in line with this place. So the world will hate you. They will, they will show you and they will speak out and some of them will hide it, man. Some of them are very sneaky, deceptive, concerning hating you man they might even smile they might even befriend you but Mali had a song who the cup fit you have people like this upon this earth they will sit eat and drink laugh at you but behind your back they talk evil they wish evil upon you they love to see you stumble and fall down to the ground so that they can laugh or so that they can say didn't I told you already? He is nobody. He is good for nothing. You got a lot of people in the world, and even in this truth of us, man. Men that don't really mean the real sincere goodness with you, man. So we pray, you have to pray, we have to pray to the Most High, because we're living in a world that is full of evil-minded creatures that really want to destroy you, man. They really want you to denounce the Most High and to be spitted at and buffeted at after you do something like that, man. Because the world, the world is not going to accept you, man. There are certain things like a man can sell out bribery, which you see with certain camps. And I believe that Nate, Sna that Nate, Nate Snake from IOIC took money and is living under the, uh, the 54C301. Uh, agreement which means 
There are certain things that they can say and certain things that they cannot say. That's why they're withholding the men and the congregation from the name Jehovah Bashim Yashai, while before he was teaching about it. This same man is talking about, there ain't no microchip, it's June. But now, when you look at all the things that is taking place in this world, you see that they promote the microchip. You can't deny the existence of the microchip, you see? But yet they still persistently resist and deny the existence of the chip. That's an example of bribery and selling out. They will, they will, the world will block you. The world will block you. They, they will prevent you from prospering in this wicked world, man. They want you to be down. The scripture speaks about. Let's just let me just let's just let's just follow these points and grab scriptures, man. They will hate you. And the hate, huh, the hate is known, man. The hate is known. The book of John chapter 17. They hated the Lord, man. They hated our power. It says, where is it? Is it in 17 or is it in 15? I believe it is in 15. Yeah, here it is. The book of John chapter 15, verse 17. These things I command you that you love one another. You gotta, we have to love each other, man. And the loving of each other goes hand in hand with showing what you're doing wrong, but also motivating and giving compliments to keep that fire going. You motivate, but you also correct and you instruct. You know, that's what we have to do. And we do everything that we do, we do with love, man. So correction is, is an example of love, even though many of the people upon this earth might deem correction or even rebuke as something hateful. Everything that we do, we got to do it in balance. You don't get grievous towards a man or a woman and then you don't bring things in balance. You restore one soul as well. That's the balance in this truth. It says, if the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. This is Yahweh because the letters are in red. So the, 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 the Redeemer got hated before we got hated because we came into this truth and we followed, we followed the Redeemer. We're walking in the footsteps of our, of our example, man. You see? So the same hate that they had towards the Lord, how they spitted at Him, how they spoke evil about Him, how they lied about Him, how they tried to lay hands upon the Lord, how they even laid hands upon the Lord till the moment where they crucified the Lord. All these things have they done unto the Lord, and now we are walking in the Lord. So the scripture shows us that we can expect the same things which befell the Lord. It says, If you were of the world, the world would love its own. If you would be rapping about gang banging, or talking about uh, big pimping, you know, or, or swinging coke, or, or being ballers, or whatever things, and in the case of the females, the women, Talking about how they twerking, shaking their booty, you know, and, and, and uh, no longer cooking, but simply using the wap to hold a man. The world would accept that. But because we're not conforming to that degenerate way of being, we're, we're not being accepted by the world. We, we are claiming back the manliness towards the man, which is deemed a problem because it's, it's, it's simply warring against it's warring against feminism it's warring against a simpish behavior so people will hate you for how you speak they will say you hate women you a bigot or whatever things they will say about us man because we stick with what the most high commanded us to do and to speak it says but because you are not of the world but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Yeah, because the Most High chose. We haven't chosen. You can look, you can search for the Most High, but He decides who He picks. Who gets out of this truth, who out, of, out, of this, out of the matrix, so to say. Who obtains the, the, the knowledge concerning who or what His true identity is, who the enemy is, what happened in the past. 
what the good will of the Heavenly Father is, the sound doctrine. The Most High decides unto who he opens up and unto who he gives this truth. It says, remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my sayings, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. Because they simply don't know the Most High. They didn't fear the Lord. They were not searching for the Most High. People are not doing these things, man. The Most High opened up unto us because of our heart. You got to understand that if the Most High opened up unto you, there was something, there was a reason for the Heavenly Father to do this. Either, when, either, either, either the Most High wanted to introduce you to this truth and cause you to be destroyed, or the Most High opened up unto you and to lead you on the path of salvation. So being called in this truth is not a light thing. Being called in this truth requires for us to be diligent. And I'm saying this first to myself towards first first towards myself before I mention it towards others because in this truth you're going to deal with the adversity. You know, the hate, the backlash, the trying of your faith, Satan is roaming all over the block, demons on people, the losses, the adversity, the fire is continually upon us. So there will be moments when you will be less diligent. There will be moments when you might be more focused on recharging or a searching a form of ease within Babylonian uh, madness upon this earth, man. You see? And that's what our people need, man. We need, we need, yeah, that's why I'm walking, man. That's why I'm walking. Retreating myself from that, that, that city madness, man. Just taking a walk to the weather. We've been waiting for a quite long time until the weather changed. Now the sun is out. Got 26 degrees up in this place. So we're moving. We're moving, we're taking a walk, and you, you ease your mind at nature. We, we are connected with nature. We are the closest unto the Most High. The Most High is the establishment of nature. So when you, when, you, when you live, when you move in nature, you are connected with, with the Most High, with a true form of being at ease, you see? And that's what we need, man. So, and especially in Babylon, dealing with all the hate and the backlash of these people, man. So it says, they will hate you and they will block you. They will block you as well, man. When you, when you, when you for, for example, will apply for a certain job, these people will 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 treat you uh with an ill way man you know depending if the most high will bless you and grant you the job but you got to understand that these these people got mad demons upon them and they will they will do whatever it takes to move you to box you out of the way so in anything that we do upon this earth we got to apply wisdom you got to have self-control you got to show your teeth and you got to show your teeth you got to use the wisdom in the right way and above all, we have to have that fervent prayer and faith, man. Because the Most High, if He guides us concerning situations upon this earth, we can, we can conquer whatever test is coming upon our road, man. The book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 22. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast your name as evil as for the sons of man's sake. You see, so blessed are you, because... Your energy, your spirit is not in line with the world. The reason why they do these things is because they see something in you. They see, they see something that is contrary onto their spirit inside of you. And many of them don't understand, man. This hate, this hate, this perpetual hate which a lot of people have goes back to the time of uh, Jacob and Esau, man. You know, how Esau sold his birthright, how he got supplanted from his blessing, how he got blessed with the sword. How he kept that anger inside of him. That's where it goes back to. So they're, they're angry, they're hurt. And they show you the hate continually, man. That's how, that's how the Edomite is working and walking upon the earth, man. The hate that they have to watch you continually, man. But you have to deal with it, man. You have to deal with it at work. You have to deal with it when you might be in a supermarket. You have to deal with it wherever you are. 
as long as you apply the wisdom of the Most High, you can go to these situations, man. You see? So back in that, uh, in that scripture, it says, Rejoice ye in that day, and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven, for in the like manner did they, did their fathers unto the prophets. So you got to rejoice, man. Don't get all down and feeling like, man, they're against me. Man, they don't want to be around me. Man, they don't want me around the company. Oh, man. Hey, don't get, in, don't get into a down spirit like that, man. Fuck them. Understand that the Most High loves you and that He's showing you that this is what needs to happen. When you separate yourself from their wicked ways, you become, a, you become an enemy, man. Let's get that, man. In the book of Isaiah, you know, and, and these scriptures give you the clear understanding of what is happening and why these things are happening, man. So when you know the scriptures, it gives you comfort, it gives you the calmness about the times we're living in, you know. The book of Isaiah chapter 59 verse 15. Yea, truth faileth, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. So when you depart from the ways of this world, and you teach the ways of the Most High, you are going to become a target, you know. I was explaining about the period, I was explaining about what the Bible speaks about concerning rape and when a man or a woman, when a girl, when a boy or a girl becomes a man. Many people get offended, man. And many people will accuse you from things while you explain what it simply means in the scripture. We're not promoting anything of, of, of uh, having, having intercourse or sex with somebody from that age. We've never preached, never taught anyone about it. Every time when a person steps up, we give you the understanding of what is written in the scriptures. But you got evil, wicked-minded creatures who are going to get judged for that, man. Because they're lying. They're lying, about, they're lying about the man of the Lord. And when you lie, a lie is a foul thing in the eyes of the Most High. And the Most High will require everything that you say upon this earth, man. Let's get that, man. Let me just read this and then, then we go on, man. They, it says, unfollow you, talk behind your back, laugh at you, reject you, make false claims about you. They will test you, try to destroy your faith, try to make you look crazy, and try to make you the cause of all problems. This is what the, pro this is what the prophets have to deal with upon this earth, man. This is our life, man. This is what you will cope with for serving Yahweh Bashim Yashai. All the lies, all the confusion, and all the wickedness that they, that they spread about us, man. But we have to bear that, man. Th this is what we have to bear for the Most High. You know? So, like, uh, let, me get, let me get my... Uh, uh, my power bank, man. Because I just see that my, my phone is about to die. My phone is about to die. Which is another thing, man. This technology, man, Isu could already fix something where with the battery would not, wouldn't be messed up that quickly. But it's cool. Yep. So like here. Bear with me. I have to do this the right way. So, up, uh huh. Here it is. Here we go. It's lucky for that. But you go and see those things, man. And that's for the for the younger brothers in this truth, man. That you don't get discouraged and understand why these things are happening, man. You know. Let me get a a quick precept about that, man. In the book of, uh, what is it, in Peter's? First Peter 4 and 12. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange things happened unto you. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Mashiach's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. 
You see, so the, the pain and the afflictions that you go through right now upon this earth is already appointed by the Most High. We were appointed to go to difficulty. We were appointed to go to the backlash and the hate, the contemptuous way of speaking, the scorning, the mocking, the derision, the way how people will blame you for everything that is going wrong in their life. Everything that is about to go wrong, we, hey, that's why we say we are the prophets of doom. We are prophesying about the doom and gloom which the Lord is about to bring upon these people, man. And when it will come to pass, they will know that there was a prophet amongst them. But as we prophesy and as we mention these things, by part we prophesy and by part things are coming to pass continually. They're going to look at you and they're going to they're gonna blame you for all these things, man. We are the problem, man. I had this man, <laughs> I had this man telling me like, yo, man, it's your fault. You told me about this truth, you know, before my life was good. I had no problems, but you told me about this truth. You fucked up my life. This man got angry, man, because I told him the truth. He got angry because I told him what was going on, what the wicked is doing. And you're going to have a lot of people like that, man. Blaming you. Blaming you for telling them the truth, man. That's some madness, man. But that's what you're going to see upon this earth, man. Let's get another one, man. In the book of Proverbs. Proverbs 26. I believe it is around the end. 28. A lying tongue hated those that are afflicted by it. And the flattering mouth break it ruin. So you're going to have people lying about you, man. Lying about who you are. Lying about, hey, man, many, many people are going to lie. They're going to spread rumors, man. You have a song from uh, Gentleman Rumors. They, people, man, huh. they, they, most of the time, this truth is about patience, suffering, wrongfully, huh? long-suffering. Waiting upon the moment when the Most High is going to execute judgment upon all our enemies, man. Because you have a lot of people lying. And a lie, a lie is a foul thing. Like, with that lie, they really seek to cause harm not only on your life, but also onto your reputation, onto who you are as a person. On your integrity, onto your ethical, your, your, moral, your moralic way of being upon this earth. They're trying to tarnish. They're trying to destroy everything who you are. This thing is way bigger than what many people seem to understand. When we say we serve Yahweh Ba'ashim Yashai, what kind of forces are working against us? What kind of war is being played out upon this earth? What type of hate we cope with upon this earth? The biggest hate, the worst form of a satanic uh, uh, attacking is what we undergoing upon this earth, man. Let's go to the book of uh, the book of Psalms. I believe it is one. What is it? Twenty six. No, it's not. Bear with me. Uh, what is it? Contempt. I believe it is something in. I believe it is in the book of Psalms, right? Oh, it's 123. Here. It says in the book of Psalms, chapter 123, verse, uh, verse 3 Have mercy upon us, O Yahweh. Have mercy upon us, for we exceedingly filled with contempt. When you go into the word contempt, booze, he says booze, and it says contempt, uh, springing from evil, springing from prosperity, springing from judgment, contempt. Being despised, you're gonna be despised, man. Despised by, by the unwise. You gotta look at that, man. 
being despised by those who are deemed as dogs by the Heavenly Father, man. Those who are walking unlawful, unruly upon this earth. And they showing you disrespect for walking in the ways of the Most High. Which is disrespecting the highest Heavenly Father, man. That's what people don't seem to understand. Because they really think they disrespect men upon this earth. Let's get that, man. Oh, Slakia, let's go back. Finish this first and then we go Then we go to the next one. Slakia. Psalms 123, verse 4. Our soul is exceeding filled with the scorning of those that are at ease. Because they're living... They, they, their mind is at ease in this wicked empire, man. These people, are, these people think about building in Babylon while the Most High is showing us through the scriptures that he's going to destroy Babylon. They give themselves over unto the confusion and we get despised for speaking truth. You know? We are teaching our people, we are correcting our people, but the, those who give themselves over unto Babylon, they, they can't... They can accept react, uh, correction they despise correction correction is grievous unto them man you know so they choose death they choose the state of condemnation filled with the scorning filled with the scorning of those that are at ease and with the contempt of the proud with the proud who is the proud Esau Edom is the proud he is the most proud upon this earth and who is leading people astray Upon the path of pride, pridefulness, man. So when we teach people about humility, humility is hateful in the, in the eyes of those who are proud and arrogant, man. Lowliness and, and, uh, and being deemed as poor is hateful in the eyes that are rich and proud and arrogant, man. So the rich is continually plotting and aiming at the poor and needy, man. At the humble, the lowly. Those that believe in the most time, those that are calling upon the Lord, those that are teaching the ways of the Lord, they are the main target in this wicked empire, man. And we know it because we feel it. We under, we are undergoing it, man. Uh, I wanted to go to a scripture, right? But I lost it. It slipped my mind. You know? Let me go back to this thing to show... What else come up to my mind, man? Where's this picture? So now all of a sudden this picture is gone. Now the picture is gone. Oh well. So, these are the things that we meet upon this earth, man. And we were appointed to go to these things, man. The scorning, the hate, the contemptuous mi mistreating from the wicked. Huh. Man, oh man, oh man. Being subject onto payments. Let's get that. In the book of Baruch, it says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast cut at us for a reproach and a curse. You're being reproached by dogs. We got the curses still upon us in the Most High, slowly but sure lifting these curses up and placing them upon our enemies. But we still are in captivity. We're still coping with these things, man. It says, and to be subject to payments, man. You pay, you pay, you pay, you, man. This place is very sin, man. The scripture said, he would search to wear out the saints. The wearing out of the saints is taking place by the oppression, by the attacking, by the tempting, by the financial uh, uh, subjection onto payments. That's, that's the whole warfare against us, man. That's how the wicked is trying to wear out the saints, man. It says, According to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from our Lord, our power. Yeah, man. With the understanding that all these things that are falling on us, fell upon us because of our misdoings towards the Most High. That's why these things are happening unto us, man. That's why the Most High is doing this, man. We, we understand what the Most High is doing. And it's not that you can rebel against what the Most High is doing. We, you got to acknowledge your mistakes and be in a spirit like, what is it that I have to do in order to, to receive mercy 
from the almighty power who is bringing these things upon us. That's, that's the mind that needs to be inside of our people. And many of our people simply don't have that mind. Their mind is like, life is messed up. Life is fucked up. What can we do or what should we do? Or what can we do? Because if it was should and righteousness sake, they would submit unto the most high. So what is it that we can do in order to make our life explained? You know? They do wickedness. They they exercise evil upon this earth. They steal, they lie, they do they do whatever the wicked enemy, the devil is instructing them to do. That's what they do. You know? So they have joy. They have joy in wickedness, man. Our people have joy in wickedness. Let me just sit over there. Finish this fit. You know? But they are not submitting themselves onto the ways of the Most High. Well, you see that? Oh. They were just chilling over here. There you go. How do you call them? I believe in Dutch we say fasant. I don't know the English name for that bird. But I believe it is, uh, in Dutch we call it the fasant. So, just taking a sit at this table and continue with this, uh, with this video. Like this. So yeah, man. Um, let's get another one, man. Uh, yeah, subject onto payments, man. And the people shoot up the lips. Let's get that as well, man. The book of Lamentation, chapter 2 and 15, because the scripture already explained that in the place where we would say that we are the Israelites, they would not accept and they would just deny that we are the Israelites, man. So people are, the people are laughing for the fact that we tell them that we are the Israelites, man. You know, people are mocking, saying things like, y'all believe you are the Israelites, y'all know the Israelites. They deny who we are, man. The book of Revela uh, Lamentations, chapter 2, verse 15. All that pass by clap their hands at thee, they hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem. And this was speaking all about the Israelites, man. It says, saying, is this the city that man called the perfection of beauty? The joy of the whole earth. All thine enemies have opened their mouth. Yeah, because they look at us. And their mind is like, if you are the Israelites, why are you poor? Why are you living in the ghettos? Why are you not, why are you gang banging? Why are you completely corrupted and, and living like degenerates upon this earth? But we understand. We understand Deuteronomy 28. We understand that we are under the curses which the most High placed upon us, man. Because of disobedience. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15 till down. We understand that. We are, we are undergoing our punishment. But the Most High gave us, gave us the gospel. He gave us the Redeemer. The way out. Salvation is only for the Israelites. For People don't seem to get that, man. They think salvation is open unto any nation. Salvation is only for the Israelites, man. But yet they deny us. Yet they deny that this is the case. Yet they want to make it seem as if we are the crazy ones for teaching this truth. Based on the scriptures, proving you, precept upon precept, we prove all things, man. It says, all thine enemies have opened their mouth against thee. They hiss and gnash the teeth. They say, we have swallowed her up. Certainly, this is the day that we looked for. We have found. We have seen it. This is what they've been hoping for. This is, this is Psalms 83, man. They all conspire. They all confederate together against us. They all have joy in seeing us being destitute from our country, from knowing who we are, exploiting us, being being manipulated to serve them and to accept this 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 catastrophe, this this whole predicament. But we don't. We don't accept. We don't. We don't uh, stay. We're not going to stay in this predicament, man. We we're in the process of rising up and leaving this wicked place and going back to our country, man. By the will of the Most High, He is going to bring us back to our place, man. You know? And all these heathens, all these wicked people are going to witness these things, man. Let's go to the book of... Uh, let's go to the book of uh, First Corinthians, man. To show you which, which, who the Most High chose to do His will upon this earth. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 1, starting at verse 26. 
for you see your calling called called by the Lord called out of this matrix in out of the matrix into the into the knowledge of the most high into the into the knowing that you're an Israelite into the knowing who the enemy is and what they do upon this earth it says how that not many wise men after the flesh wise men after the flesh are are, are people that went to the university who have the master degree or whatever degree they have on this earth you know not many of those are called into this truth man because if many of them were called into this truth then it wouldn't be by the power of the most high the most high is going to use the things that are despised the things that are looked down at the things for which many people might say like well i don't think that he knows or that he has knowledge or he is the one that we have to follow the most high doesn't look at how much money or how much uh, 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 knowledge you have obtained by going to the to the i always call it the miseducation system of esau you know, the Most High is not looking upon that. He's looking inside. He's looking at your heart. He's looking at your mind, your sincerity, your your real sincere intent of righteousness and striving for righteousness. That's where the Most High is looking at, man. The Most High is actually choosing the underdog in this system that is really sincere and striving to do what is right. Because that's the spirit of the elect. The elect is already predestinated to be in the spirit, man. And that's why the elect is called into this truth. The elect will obtain it and they will abide in, in it and they will receive accordingly by the Most High. It says, For ye see your calling, brethren, that not many wise men after the flesh, not many wise, so it does not mean that there are no scholars, or scholastic or studious uh, 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 brothers who might went to the at, at university. You got brothers who went to the university in this truth as well. You know? Uh, um, not many mighty. You're not going to have many men like uh, uh, Muhammad Ali type of, of warriors, boxers, or or um, um, or whatever, or whatever uh, a strong man that you know from 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 boxing or or basketball or soccer, you know, in this truth. But it doesn't say that they will be known. You know, the amount of them will be less than those that are that are not in that on that way. It says not many noble, not many people that are in high places, you know, in 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 politics, or might even be in the royal royal uh, 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 house. But there are you got secret disciples as well, man. You got you got secret disciples who who even serve, who believe about the truth, but they cannot, they can't openly uh, uh, come out and say whatever they want to say, man. So they have to to use a certain form of um, discretion and wisdom, man. It says, but the Most High chose the foolish things, the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. So the Most High chose that which is deemed foolish by the world to confound those who deem themselves wise in this world. That's how the Most High operates. He, he chose the underdog, man. The underdog, most of the time, the underdog is very sincere and humble. You got many people living on the streets, poor, and there are different forms, different ways, different reasons how a person can end up in the street becoming a bum a person might have a certain form of misfortune losing his job and ending up in, in a vicious circle of all kind of catastrophe i've seen videos about men that live on the streets and they are very humble they're very uh sharing and caretaking concerning others who also coping with misfortune man but a person that is proud a person that is rich is very arrogant they don't care about others they 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 are willing to eat up small fishes in order to grow bigger uh, 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 in what they have and in what they want upon this earth, man. You know, so that's what the Most High is looking at. He's looking inside. It says, Yea, and the things which are not to bring to naught things that are, that no flesh should glory in his presence. Yeah, because those things are the Most High chosen, man. The things that are greatly despised, you know. And that's, that's the power of the Most High because, because those men are despised by the heaven, by by the world the most i will raise them up and when they will raise them up that's the moment when the lord is going to give them fame they're going to get fame in the places where they have been brought to shame the book of 7 i chapter 3 verse 19 behold at that time i will undo all that afflict thee and i will save her that halted and gather her that was driven out and i will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame 
at that time I will bring you again, even in the time that I gather you, for I will make you a name and a praise among a people of the world, of the earth. And when I turn, and when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, say the Lord. So the Lord is going to give us fame in the places where we've been brought to shame, where they scorned us, where they had us in derision, where they did all those things. Because Job spoke about it. Let's get that, man. Quickly about what happened unto Job. Job said this, man. Job 30 verse 1. But now they that are younger than I, which talks about the Edomites, have me in derision, whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. So Job was explaining about he wouldn't even allow Edomites to be around their dog because they would do foul, wicked, grievous things onto, the, onto his dog. And if they do those things onto your dog the bible explains that you have to put that man to that but also uh the dog to that and you don't want that sachek it says to laugh to play to mock to laugh usually in contempt or derision to sport to play the way how we speak about that we are the israelites they mock they laugh the way how we explain about the Lord being a dark skinned man and that is coming back to save us, they, they mock, they laugh. The way how we explain that the Moist is going to execute uh, um, judgment, fair, righteous judgment upon this earth, and that the enemies who have afflicted the Israelites will go into captivity, they laugh, they mock, they scorn. You know? When we explain about the existence of the chariots, which they call UFOs, and that there are no aliens but angels inside of them, they laugh, they mock, they scorn. It's sport for them to speak against the truth. Hey, there's a spirit, man, to worry about Shimei Shai, because the scripture came back to my mind. When they do all these things, let's hold this one. When they do these things, they might think that they do it unto man, but they do it unto they do they do it unto man, spiritual man in the Lord. Yahweh Ba Shai, but they don't understand, they don't consider that they do it unto the Most High. The book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 4, verse 7, for the Most High had not called us unto uncleanness, but unto the holiness. He therefore that despised it, despised it not men, but the Most High, who had also given us unto us his Holy Spirit. So when we speak, we speak according to the Holy Spirit, man. When we speak truth, people speak <laughs> a and we keep telling them, man, hey, they don't understand, man. The scripture, there's a scripture that says in, in uh, the book of Apocrypha, in no wise speak against the truth. That's what people do. And they deem it a light matter, man. They deem it a light matter to speak against truth. Here, the book of Sirach chapter 4 and 25. In no wise speak against the truth, but be abashed of the error of thine ignorance. If you don't know just just remain silent man just remain silent don't go up against the truth because you're going up against the most high you're going up against the spirit and many people don't seem to understand this man they think it's a light thing what they do but the lord the lord is going to show them what's going to happen man where you do those things man the most high is going to show them what's going to happen with them man the same thing as in the book of luke in the book of luke i believe it is in uh, 10 and 16 the weather is sweet, man. Mm. He that heareth you, heareth me, and he that despiseth you, despiseth me, and he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. The order is Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. The man follow, following the order, and you have you have the the righteous women. That's the order of the Most High. But what is it that the people are doing upon this earth? They go up against that, man. They just mock, they scorn, they just speak against against the righteous establishment, man. So the Most High is going to punish them accordingly, man. That's what's going to happen with people upon this earth, man. You know? With all the haters. With all you haters. So back in the book of Job, we often have to read about it, man. You can read it all yourself till down. The key point is already made. You will be hated. You will be despised. Uh, the wicked will slander. Let's get that, man. Esau will slander. You know, they will fabricate. The book of Psalms, chapter 50, verse... Um, verse, uh, verse 20. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Esau is doing that towards us. 
because Esau is our evil, wicked twin brother, man. It says, Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. Where you go into the word slander? Because he is a slanderer. Let's get that, man. Dofi. It says, you fucking doofy. <laughs> a blemish for the, the, the devil, man. It, 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 it almost sounds like doofus. But it's it's a doofitic, a doofus thing to do, man. You know? To slender somebody, man. Here it says, a stumbling. A stumbling block. You know? But that's what Esau is doing, man. You know, he will he will accuse you of things. And let me get that in the book of, uh, I believe it is in the book of Proverbs 24. Are you for real? You got these creatures riding on the, on the, on the scooter in the grass like what? So, um, there was a scripture that spoke about uh, regarded lies. A evil man regarded lies or will give heed unto lies. You know, and you got, you got wicked minded people upon this earth as well that, that give heed unto, unto lies, man. They believe the lies which are being spewed to watch the people, man, to watch them. That's what is taking place upon this earth as well, man. You know? So, hey, this is what actually I wanted to bring out, man. I already, I already hit the key points about this thing, man. Stay rooted in this truth, man. Understand that we were appointed to go to these things, man. You're going to have many slanders, many lying come back speaking evil about you. You know, many um, who are giving over to their sensual, lawless, a wicked mind upon this earth but this is this is this is what we have to bear upon this earth man this is what we have to go to upon this earth man so shalom